In this presentation, we're going to look at probability distributions with R. This particular presentation features the binomial distribution. So this is a sort of quality control type setting to it, which be quite commonly used at place where we would sort of encounter the binomial distribution in terms of industrial processes. So 3% of PCB boards purchased over the internet have some sort of defect. Consignments are sent in nominal batches of 100 PCB boards, but to account for the inclusion of defective items, there are actually 105 per consignment. So the manufacturer sends out a few extra ones, five extra ones per consignment, just to account for defective items, defective PCB boards, you know, in case they get broken in travel or something like that. So let's just say we're a new customer of this manufacturer and we open up a consignment and we have 105 PCB boards and we're going to test every single last one of them. So what is the probability that we get six or more defective PCB boards? What is it exactly that they're exactly four? What is the probability they're exactly six? What is the probability of between six and eight, between two and four, and if there are more than eight from the batch, what would you do? Okay. So this is a binomial random variable, binomial probability distribution. Here, x is the number of defective components in the batch. X is the number of, n is the number of independent trials. That's the number of PCB boards in each consignment. So we're gonna test them out one by one. So we're gonna have 105 tests. Okay, here, n is 105. P is the probability of a success, and here a success is the event that a randomly selected PCB board is found to be defective, and the probability of that success is 0 0.03, okay? So that's how we might state it there mathematically. X is a binomial random variable with N equal 105, and P equals 0 0.03. So the first exercise asks us to calculate the probability of X greater than or equal to six. That would be equivalent to saying that we do not have 100 working components in our consignment, which is what the box says, okay? The box says 100 PCB boards. Do we have 100 PCB boards that work? Let's find out. So that how we would calculate that is one minus the probability of X less than or equal to five. That's the cumulative distribution function, okay? So let's set N to be 105 and p to be 0 0.03 so this is the cumulative distribution function of the binomial p binome okay uh where the value of interest is five and we're going to set size equals n and probability equals p so the arguments to the binomial commands in r are size equals and prob equals okay now I've just set N and P to have particular values there, but you can just put in size equals 105 and P equals probability equals 0 0.03. One minus the P binome, that gives us the complement, okay? Now just remember that the binomial distribution is a discrete random variable. It's a discrete distribution. So that, you have to factor that in when you can't calculate in complements. So it's different for discrete random variables and continuous random variables, okay? Anyway, the probability of X being greater than or equal to six is 0 0.09665347. So this means that there's a 9.6% chance that we do not have 100 working components in a batch, okay? But we continue. What's the probability of X equal to four? Well, this is where we would calculate the probability mass function of the binomial distribution. That's D binome, okay? Now, this is essentially D for density. So, usually, most probability distributions are probably continuous. And D, we would say, we would talk about the probability density function. Here, it's the probability mass function, but we still say use D. Anyway, so the, this gives us the precise probability of a value of interest. So here, we're interested in the probability of x equal to 4. These are our arguments and our inputs, and this is, gives us the probability. So it is 17%, 17.85%, 0 0.1785. Okay, so just think about that for a second. That means we have at least one extra uh, 
um, working PCB board. So we actually would have 101 PCB boards. Okay, just so let's just sort of let's continue on with this. Probability of x equal to six, just same as before. D binom six size equals n, probability equals p, and the probability of that is five percent, zero point zero five seven five. Okay, now let's just think about this for a second. Actually, I deliberately put these here. So the probability of having one extra, okay. 101 working deponent components is greater than the probability of having one too few so the strategy is working we're we're sort of getting happy now okay that we actually on uh, uh, on average get more than 100 working pcb boards per consignment what's the probability of x being less than or equal to uh, between six and eight okay so the way to calculate this is get the uh, cumulative distribution function of eight, okay? And then subtract the cumulative distribution function of five. Now the reason is again, that this is a discrete random variable. This will give us the probability of X less than or equal to eight, okay? So the sample points there will be six, seven, or one to five, six seven and eight okay but we want to exclude zero to five actually i should have said zero to five there as well so this would have all of the sample points between zero and eight and this would exclude zero to five okay so that's why we subtract one from the other okay so the probability of that is 0 0.09 okay a little bit worrying okay so this is uh 10% chance that the, you know, the, we are at least one down and as many as three down from the nominal level. Okay, 9.22%. But what's the probability of X be being between two and four? So that's P binom size equals N, probability equals P minus one, minus P binom of one, size equals n probability equal p that is 61 percent okay so there's a 10 percent chance no 9.2 percent chance that will be less than the 100 level okay by one defective component two defective components or three defective components that we don't have the full amount but there are is a 61.8 percent chance that we get extra ones in other batches okay so I'm happy enough. Now, the probability of X greater than or equal to eight, okay? And that is P binom size equals N, probability equal P, and lower tail equals false, okay? So when you put in lower tail equals false, that means the probability of X being greater than that value there, and it's 0 0.0044, okay? So, um that's a very unlikely outcome it's not impossible so i'm happy enough to continue this i'm the the manager of this manufacturer and thinking well this should worry me i'm heartened by the fact that i on other consignments i probably might get an extra one to make up for it in fact plenty of extra ones to make up for it okay so I'm very happy about this situation and I'm going to buy loads of PCB boards from this manufacturer from now on. Okay, we'll leave it there.